It very much is. And then we are going to kind of reset. We're going to look back into the northwest, and we do have a piece of energy that's going to be coming in. And there she blows, right here. This will be our next weather maker that comes in, and that's what it looks like. That's your vorticity. Cold pocket aloft really energizes thing. Cold air is going to sink, and you see it coming through the northwest as we head throughout the end of the week. So tomorrow, watch out for more rain anywhere from Washington State all the way into the plains along this warm front. We are going to see that threat for storms from Montana down into Kansas as well. And we could see hail, we could see damaging winds with this, and some of that hail could be on the big side. Watch all that moisture return with that southerly flow ahead of this. That's going to help, you know, destabilize the atmosphere. We have energy from that daytime heating. That's going to help increase your storm development as well as, as we head into tomorrow evening. We do have some winds, but I think that most of the instability is going to come from that vorticity, that people of energy I showed you off the top and you can see the uh, smattering and scattering of thunderstorms as we go through the day some more pushing into areas that we don't need it that Jim was just showing you where we've seen double digit totals over the last month and more showers and thunderstorms getting down into the four corners here and some of those being quite potent as they push into the plains into the evening hours and on Friday it's an Iowa to a Missouri type of a situation for us and the Denver we're going to be above average our highs here they should be you know more in the upper upper 80s so we'll be everything is going to be pulling east as we head into tomorrow so showers and storms from Kansas up into Montana and that's where we actually could see some really big hail yesterday we had 90 mile an hour winds um, in Nebraska we had four inch hail two and a half inch hail big hail so we could see that again and also damaging winds over 75 miles an hour moisture is going to return ahead of this so we're going to tap into that all that buoyant air, all that heating, all that energy in the atmosphere is going to kick off some of those thunderstorms tomorrow evening. And so watch for it to kind of develop throughout the day. We've got some winds, but not a ton of winds. So that's why our tornado threat isn't off the charts. But there are your showers.